What's going on, TEI family? I'm doing a seven-part IP series on how do I find an ideal that I can create an invention off of and get a patent on all the way up until selling that actual product. I'll be starting here today with part one that talks about how can I find something or get an ideal so that I can look at trying to invent something. We all have those things that we encounter that irritate us, uh, that we maybe do around a house or uh, we're doing lawn work or we're doing something that we feel like, man, this is inefficient or this is irritating or it can be a better way to do this. That's a great start to look at those things and try to come up with different ways that you can maybe make it more efficient, make it more effective, make it work better and more enjoyable to the user. I actually get this a lot where people come up to me and say, hey, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. And these ideas that these people come up to me with are just from like day to day things that they go throughout their day, they experience and they like, man, they can be done a better way or this is inefficient or this is irritating because the way I have to put this together or the way I have to like just doing something that's maybe unenjoyable or irritating or just complex in nature and that they found a better way or they came up with an idea that it's a better way to do it. Uh, that, so that that's a good start as the first option. Things that you encounter on a day-to-day -day basis that are irritating, you can look at those things. We all have them that we don't enjoy doing on a day-to-day -day basis. We can You can start to look to improve those things, uh, come up with some ideas, look to improve those things. And uh, you know, it's a good start at you know, coming up with some type of invention based on that idea uh, to improve you know, whatever we're talking about. Step two, we all have some type of job or something that we have done for an, a, a period of time that we've gained information or we gain some type of skill set that just the average person who is not doing it does not know. For example, you may be cutting hair as a barber and you uh, understand some information about cutting hair that the average person don't know. And now you can maybe come up with a better barber chair, maybe a better clipper, just a, a better experience overall and a barbershop experience, whether it's lighting or something to that effect that you can look at an ideal to maybe improve it uh, and, and look to get that, you know, invention patented and start selling it. That, that's a great way to do things. Maybe it's lawn care. Maybe you cut grass or paint houses or do something for a living that you have gained this skill set or just information uh, by your day to day experience in this job that you so it's just it's something that can be done better. You oh man, I, I hate having to take the paint and climb up the ladder and you start kind of the think of different ways to improve upon the current process or uh, make it better, make it more efficient, make it more enjoyable for the person that's performing the actual work. Those are great starts to, uh, you know, coming up with some type of ideals, coming up with ideals to, uh, you know, look at, you know, as an invention to, to get patented and, you know, start selling it. The last one is things that we buy that, especially from like uh, consumer products, uh, toys for kids or whatnot that we buy that they don't work well for whatever reason. They're very complex or burdensome or it's, it's, it's a pain to put together. And those are other things that you can look at as you're buying these things and, and, and saying to yourself, man, this is not, not, not good or this is inefficient or it's a better way to do this. Those are other places or good places to start uh, to get those gears turning in your head and looking at, okay, coming up with different ideals, uh, to maybe, you know, turn into an invention and, and, and you know, look to get patented. So those are three ways that, again, the three ways that you can start off by, if you don't have an idea, to try to get an idea and, you know, come up with an invention based off that idea and look to get that patented. We're going to go, go over the three ways again. The first one is looking at your everyday encounters that irritate you, that are uh, not enjoyable, and you know, look at maybe trying to make them more efficient, make them more effective, and make them more desirable to the user. The second is skills and information that you have learned just on a day-to-day -day basis at that job that the that people who are not performing that job just don't know. You can use that to your advantage to come up with again different ideas, different ways of improving upon a process, improving upon the experience, improving upon the thing that uh, you're doing day to day that you're like, man, this can be done better. Then the third is, again, from things that you buy, whether it's things around the house that you buy, whether it's toys, whatever you buy and you're you know, putting it together and maybe it's burdensome or 
you look in the way it operates or works, and you're like, man, it's a better way to do this. Those are three good beginning points as you're trying to come up with ideals or come up with inventions to get patented, to ultimately sell and make money off of. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, be on the lookout for part two of this IP series because it's going to be a good one. Until next time, T.I. family, peace.